Dr. Carl Hammerschlag, one of the psychiatrists here in Arizona, he said, it is not the only way you once knew it. There is always a, another way. I'm not here to reinvent the wheel, but I'm here to have a conversation. Uh, my topic is on uh, leadership, uh, humility in leadership. And I spend most of the time focusing on the humility part of it. But for the interest of this conference, I added that leadership. Leadership is an intellectual frontier. Uh, there's, nobody has a license or how we say they have the ultimate or final uh, definition of leadership. But what I do know that the definition of leadership is action. You can't claim you're a leader without translating what, you know, what you know into results. What is humility? It's gonna be a challenging uh, uh, definition to give because we know what it is, but how can we define it? So the reason why I'm taking it that angle is that way we can implode. We can self-reflect before we, we, we define it. So when you think about service though, what is it? All of us, we participate in some kind of uh, service on a daily basis. So if you do it without uh, putting yourself first, you're actually exercising humility. I think we, we, we exercise it on a daily basis, maybe in a range. Some people do it more, some people do it less, but I think we all have some level of humility in us. First thing first, humility is a psychological construct. Uh, that simply means that, uh, just like love, you can't touch it, you can actually lift it up, but it has such a powerful influence in our life. Okay, thank you so much.